Hi, this is What You Looking At. Today we got the accuracy test of my custom SEMA SEMA 28 RPK. Hope you enjoy the video. Okay, here we go. First feet is, uh, first distance is always a 75 feet. Uh, since this is a support weapon, I'll do semi-auto and fully auto burst. As you see, you're pretty much you're gonna hit it anything every time is 75 feet. Okay, here we go. 100 feet. Let me back out that way you can see. Same thing, a couple of semi-auto shots and then full auto burst. Pretty much as you see, every shot's gonna hit. The one or two shots it did miss was me siding in. Okay, now 125 feet. This is gonna where, you know, some people's AEGs might start not being effective. So, let's see what we can do here with the RPK. Okay, as you see, um, probably hitting it about 70% of the time. One kind of going a little bit under, and then about two to three BBs going slightly left and right. But you know, that's pretty much a man sized target. And with this, we're going to be doing fully auto. So let's see what we could do with that. So there you go, pretty much any five round burst is gonna hit the target at least three times. Okay, here we go now, 150 feet. Sorry for the glare. I tried to push the camera as much out of the way of the sun as I could. So, let's see what we can do. Okay, if you heard, uh, all first five of the first five shots hit, and the last one kind of missed to the left. And this is 150 feet. And of course, this is a fully automatic gun, as I've said a million times, so let's see what we can do. Oh, wow. <laughs> Okay, the first couple of bursts, I wasn't aiming high enough as since I've got the hop of adjusted to shoot at about 120 feet or so. So the first couple sets kind of went under the chair. One of them went to the left as I was aiming up to shoot. And then the last three, especially that last one, hit like six out of seven times in fully auto. So it's really nice to see. Now let's go back to 180 feet and see what we can do. Okay, here's the last distance you would probably want to even try to shoot. Plan to shoot it at a 45 degree angle or want to have you know two to three feet of actual hop in your BB flight which I really don't like to do I just like to aim up just slightly not up to where the BB is like a mortar but you know just to keep <laughs> the FPS for the most part but here we go so there we go I'm gonna do nothing but full auto here That all dropped before it. <laughs> so there you go. I was aiming at like a 20 degree angle that shot just to hit the target. 
which is like me aiming the BBs up to hit someone that's like nine, ten feet tall. There you go. As I said, you know, this is really just the hop up factor. Okay, in conclusion, as far as this gun goes, I absolutely love it. As you see from anywhere between about 140 feet in, you're going to hit the target at least 80% of the time. And for it being a light machine gun, I'm going to be using it on full auto. So I think it's safe to say that 150 feet, I'm going to hit the target every time. Or hit the target every time regardless because I'm going to be doing fully auto. So that's pretty much it. Hope you all enjoyed the accuracy test. As I said, sorry I couldn't fit it in my previous video. The wind was just going absolutely crazy. It's going a little bit today, maybe like 10 miles an hour, but nowhere near like the 35 we had the other day. So that's pretty much it. This has been a What You Looking At Accuracy Test. Hope you all enjoyed the video. I'm out.